Sean Payton, and this is about Drew Brees and their legacy. I think most people think this is Drew Brees' last season. And right now, Sean Payton and Drew Brees have won one Super Bowl in the span of time that Bill Belichick and Tom Brady have won six. And so, no matter how great Sean Payton is once Drew Brees leaves town, there's always going to be that black mark on his record that with one of the greatest passers of all time, you were only able to win one Super Bowl. So being able to get to that second Super Bowl, that would completely change the narrative and put him in completely different air. Well, that's interesting you said that, Joe, because also when you look at Taysom Hill and what he has done for this team, you really start to see there's a shift in, there's a shift in leadership with the, at the quarterback position. We know Drew Brees will not play forever. He possibly could, but he will not play forever under Sean Payton and New Orleans Saints. So they have to really figure out what and who will they be? And then now with Michael Thomas not possibly playing, that really does put a lot of onus on the quarterback position. So I can understand and see why they go with Drew Brees. But I also think there's a shift in momentum and the personality of this team with Taysom Hill at the helm. So it'll be interesting to see how things go moving forward. As we are talking about what is he planning on doing with Drew Brees and Taysom Hill, we're talking about doing with him uh, this weekend as they get ready to play this game against the Chiefs, which is a big game. You guys, hey, Colin, you called it a rib injury. Mm -hmm. hey, I, I, I don't, that wasn't a rib injury. I'm like 10, 11 fractures up in there somewhere. <laughs> That's serious business. Hey, you, you can't just say a rib injury like something so carefully. That was serious business that he, and he's coming back this week to step on this field right now because of what we talked about earlier, they don't want to go to Green Bay. They do not want to go to Green Bay. They want to fight for that one seed, and that's why he's back in the game right now. But what this does is give them a chance now. It gives them a chance. Drew Brees, can because mm. you're going to need two ways to attack the Chiefs. Drew Brees can do it with a short passing game, bring Taysom Hill in to hit him with the big power game. You're going to need that, and you're going to need somebody that can win late in the game. Drew Brees, 53 game-winning drives. Only Peyton Manning has more than 54. He'll have that opportunity. They have a chance, even though Michael Thomas being out hurts him. And Irv, I think they want to get back to playing the Drew Brees offense with Taysom Hill as your gadget guy that comes in when you need right. him because they got to knock that rust off right now. They don't want to do that in a couple of weeks when the playoff starts because then you don't know what you have because you want to be at your best when you're in the playoffs. And the concepts that the Saints are going to be running when Drew Brees are in there from an offensive standpoint, they're just different than what you run when Taysom Hill is in there. And I don't care how long you've played in the NFL, how great you are, the longer you go without practicing, your core group of concepts, the more the details kind of begin to erode. And if they want to be great in the playoffs and be able to move all the way to the Super Bowl, they need to be great and spot on on those little details that oftentimes, especially in the playoffs, become the difference of winning and losing. I also think, too, and I'm just throwing this out there, maybe is it a Drew Brees getting that rust off because if he does become rusty in the playoffs or later in the season, you got to have Taysom Hill get in there and do an adequate job. He is the guy of the future. Jameis Winston came in when Drew Brees got hurt, but who ended up starting the next week? Taysom Hill. He is the future. You know what Sean Payton likes? He likes guys that can give you, give a headache to a defense. And Taysom Hill is that guy. And so I really believe that this, Sean Payton is torn because he has the future of Taysom Hill, but then also the legacy of Drew Brees. Which way does he go? But also he has to balance He's in the current season trying to get a playoff push, get in the playoffs, and eventually, hopefully, win the Super Bowl. I'm excited to see Alvin Kamara get back to what we saw from him earlier this season. Yes, I know we had more receptions last week, but that has not been the case with Taysom Hill in there for the most part. So we'll see how those same... Josh Allen leading this Bills team all season long. 35 total touchdowns this year, 28 passing touchdowns. He's been spreading it around, too. He's thrown touchdowns to 11 different players, which is tied for most in the league. But the guy that he goes to the most is Stephon Diggs. And Steve... Diggs has really helped this Bills offense reach an entire new level. And you talked with him after that huge win over the Steelers. Yes, I did. It's easy to see why Stephon Diggs is successful with the Buffalo Bills. But what is not obvious 
is how much leadership and great qualities that he has and all the things he does behind the scenes. And I had the opportunity to sit down with Stefan Diggs. Tell me what you think. What's up, Chad? What up, dog? Diggs inside the five, headed to the end zone. He is in. Touchdown, Buffalo. I told you we can't stop. I'm going to read off something that one of the coaches said about you. Diggs wants to be the guy the quarterback can count on in those got-to-have-it moments. Diggs pulls it in to give the Bills the lead. What is a got-to-have-it moment? Any opportunity where they betting on you, that's a got-to-have-it moment for me. Oh, they pay me the big bucks. All of it is damn near got-to-have-it. Those key situations, you call a 14 number, I want to be able to say, like, I got you. You ain't got to even worry about it. You ain't even got to even think twice about where you want to put the ball. Stephon Diggs went up high and brought it down. Hey, that's how you brought one out. I've spoken to other people in the Bills organization. They say he's a great leader. Take it off. Take it off. Tell me what is going on inside that's caused people to see this in you. You know, I always expect the best from myself. I want to be playing at the top of my game at all times. And if I'm not, you let me know. And as a leader, you should want that. You should want people to be behind you and feel like they, they can get behind you because they trust you. Let's go. I need it. I need it. Josh, and got a man wide open. Diggs into the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. You had such a great chemistry with Josh Allen. How'd that come about? He's like a, I was about to say, a big kid. He has a lot of energy. He's charismatic. He's a lot like myself. Hey, 17. Good job, baby. I see something in him right now that, you know, everybody's kind of seeing, you know, slowly but surely that he's a real deal. He's a real quarterback out there. He's a guy that you can trust, a guy that's going to lay it out on the line for his team. I saw that the first game. It's easy to follow a quarterback like that because he wants the same stuff that you want. He's got it! Touchdown! And this crowd is bedlam! Do you believe it? This franchise hasn't won a playoff game since your third birthday party. Nice! I was, that, was, that was a Spider-Man, by the way, I think. Oh, okay. Did you have a whole ensemble, the whole outfit? Yeah, I was right. I was, I was right here with it. I was right here with it. <laughs> Can this be the group who finally breaks this painful streak for Bills Mafia? I don't see no reason why not. That last year's team was good. And I feel like this team, this team is better. Our quarterback is playing crazy. Our defense, and they're balling right now. So everybody continue to do their job and keep pushing forward. I think we can do something special. Diggs looks so good in Buffalo. He's having himself a year. Top three in targets, receptions, and yards this season. Looking to carve up the Broncos secondary next.